Choosing colours for drawing can be really difficult to do because there are so many colours that look the same and so many pencil brands. Some pencil sets have over 100 colours in them and so many pencils that look similar. Choosing colours for my tutorials and drawings used to be really hard and it felt like I was spending more time choosing colours than I was actually drawing. And if you are a beginner and trying coloured pencils for the first time, then it can be really difficult to know where to start and very overwhelming having so many pencils to choose from. Colour selection is definitely something that I feel puts people off coloured pencils and a lot of artists avoid using coloured pencils altogether, opting for mediums such as graphite and charcoal where they eliminate colours altogether. There's also a very big misconception that you can only create amazing drawings by using the most expensive coloured pencils or by buying the largest sets of pencils so that you have every colour available. This has made a lot of people turn away from coloured pencils because of how much money it will cost buying those large and expensive sets. But I am going to let you in on a little secret. You don't need expensive pencils or big sets to still make amazing art. Instead of focusing on specific colours, try and put pencils in value categories, so pencils that fall into light, medium and dark values. So what I mean by this is it can get very complicated if you are following along with a tutorial and the artist starts listing all of the pencils they are using. Like me, for example, when I'm recording a tutorial, I will often list all the names of the pencils that I am using for that particular drawing. But I can understand now that this can get very confusing and complicated for people trying to follow along with me. If they don't have the exact same pencils as I am using, it can make them feel like they can't do that tutorial and it will put them off, when in reality, they don't need the exact same pencils as me, just pencils that are of a similar value. I like to break down my pencil values into three main categories, light, medium and dark. My lighter pencils will be used for any light areas of a drawing, for example highlighted areas, areas that are facing the natural light or the main focal point of a drawing. Lighter pencils will be much lighter in value than other pencils, so they're really easy to pick out from other pencils. I would suggest taking out some colours from your pencil sets, let's just use green pencils as an example. If we take a selection of green pencils, you can see that although they look very similar, they do have different values. So if you are drawing a tree or green leaves, try picking a light green, medium green and dark green so that you can still create value changes but you're simplifying things by not picking specific colours. I would use a light green for the lightest areas of a drawing, the mid-tone green to transition from the light area into the darker area, and a dark green for more value and definition. By focusing more on values, it's going to add a lot more depth and dimension to your drawings, which is one of the most important factors of coloured pencil drawings. You need those value changes to really make a drawing pop and to include a lot of detail. Value changes also add a lot of contrast to your drawings, so by using light, medium and dark values, you'll be able to get in a lot of shadows and highlights in your drawing, which is really important. So next time you follow along with a tutorial, try to pick colours for yourself by focusing on the values of the pencils instead of specific names. So now that we have simplified all of the values, I want to talk more about coloured pencil sets because as I said earlier, a lot of people think that you need to have large sets of pencils or really expensive pencils to get the best results in your drawings. And that is definitely not true at all. You can create really nice art with small sets and even cheap pencil sets as well. I have quite a lot of pencil sets and I do have a few really big sets of pencils but I find that I don't get to use a lot of the pencils from the sets. My go-to pencils are the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils and I have a set of 120 pencils but I find that I only really use a third of the set on a regular basis, some pencils I haven't even used before. For most of my drawings I will use between 12 and 15 pencils so you absolutely can create drawings using really small pencil sets. Even if you have a limited supply of colours in your sets, 
I'm going to show you a great trick to make your colours stretch further and how you can create new colours from small pencil sets. The great thing about coloured pencils is that they're great for layering and layers build up a lot of tone and hues in your drawings as well as a subtle transition between lighter and darker shades. When you start layering colours over each other, you will notice that the hues will start to change so you can effectively create new colours by layering colours over each other. If you have quite a small set of pencils or even individual pencils, by layering colours over the top of each other, you can create new colours and stretch your colour range even more. You can actually practice mixing colours by taking a scrap bit of paper and just playing around with colours. Shade in a light base layer of a colour and then choose another colour or colours to lay over the top of that colour. With gentle and soft shading, you can shade different colours over each other and the colours will start to change so you can then create new colours just from a basic or limited set of pencils. I hope that this video helped you understand colours a lot better and how to really simplify the colour picking process as well. If you are new around here then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload my videos. This channel is home to everything art related so I hope you'll stick around and look out for more videos to come. As always thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you soon. Bye!